Jurassic Park but make it cozy. This is Paleo Pines, a new cozy game about taking care of dinosaurs. I am Mad Morph and in this video I'll be getting started in Paleo Pines by meeting the locals, making a dinosaur pen, and taming my first dinosaur. If you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe to join me for more indie games, cozy playthroughs, and to hear about games you've never heard of before. Find all of my socials, including my bedtime story podcast where I read books to you, below the video. Let's begin, Paleo Pines. Let's hang out with some dinos. Paleo Pines. The adventure begins. Welcome to Paleo Pines, a peaceful island full of dinosaurs. Let's create your character. You can buy new clothes later, so relax and pick something you like. I'm glad that it lets you know that you can pick new clothes later. Let's see what we've got. Ah, oh, there's another page as well of skin colors. Twilight vampire style. Let's be about there. We've got eye color. Let's see, do the eye colors get crazy? We've got some purple eyes, some slightly pink eyes, some green eyes. What color are your eyes? Let me know in a comment. Mine are brown. And do you wish you had different colored eyes? Do you like your eyes? What color would you have? I feel like whatever you do have, you don't like it, right? Because I'm like, oh, I've got brown eyes, boring. Wouldn't you rather have green or blue? And people would be like, oh, your lovely piercing eyes, you know? But then people would say, oh, you lovely brown eyes. They're like, lovely, people like brown eyes, you know? They think they're cute, but it's just what you have, you don't like. Anyway, sorry, I don't know why I'm going on a 10 minute tangent about eyes. There we go. Um, hair color. What types of hair color have we got? We've got some purple, some blues, some deep greens, some reds, and gingers, and blondes. Just go with black. My hair's very dark. A hairstyle. Okay. Old. Little bold child. Makes the game a lot sadder, doesn't it? Let's go with this hair. Is there like a face thing? Have I missed something? There's no face changing, right? It's just this one character. That's a nice jumper. Hanging out with dinos, what would I wear? These look like pajamas. What's on the bottoms first? Because I don't want those shorts. I want... <laughs> Those blue jeans. Those are cute little shorts, actually. Like a little adventurer. These sort of look like I should be out at a bar in Soho or something having a cocktail. So 12 going on 33 there. Let's have a little shorts. Those are cute, but... I'll have the little shorts. I'm going for a Jurassic Park vibe. There you go. I don't think the waistcoat suits the jungle, does it? Or wherever we're going to be. Oh, a full outfit. This might be better. Ah, oh, I do love little dungarees in a game like this. That's also pretty cute. Let's go with this one. Classic. Shoes on your feet. <laughs> my feet are tiny. My toes are barely, like, not even further than my nose, actually. Ah, oh, those look cute. Let's go with those little booties. It's a mouth. An egg. Push. Push, little one. You have a T-Rex? We have a T-Rex. You can hear me read Jurassic Park on my podcast. Good book. A lot of people don't know that Jurassic Park's from a book. Read it for Halloween last year, I might have to pick it back up. 
I play the flute for my dino. He's growing up. He's old now. Oh, dino, you're too big for the bath now. And too big to be under my bunk bed. What's this? A place where you can be big and happy? Well, I'm packing my bags. And I'm going there. With you. Oh, well this is what was advertised in the brochure. Look at this mess. Uh, it's well messy. We're here. Paleo Pines. Lucky. It's exactly how I imagined it. Is it? Is it? Well, maybe not exactly. I mean, it's a little run down, but... It's a dive, and we got so much work to do. You're right. We'll make it work. It's like the game heard my dino voice. Cute house, though. Dismount. Oh, <laughs> you're magic. I am. Well, today was long, but we made it. Well done, Lucky. Pet Lucky's nose. Ah, uh, that's nice. That's not my nose, mate. Here, let me grab you a treat. You must be hungry. Inventory. Carrot. Ah, munch, munch, munch. Watch your fingers. I'm pretty hungry. I've been carrying you for 12 hours. Sorry, girl. That was the last one. I'm a girl! Mm. Well, I didn't eat them all. You calling me a pig? Whatever. I'll be in my tent. Tries to slam a tent door angrily. What have you found, Lucky? Ah, oh, it looks cozy, just like your old sleeping patch. Look, there's even a dreamstone. Is a dreamstone where dinosaurs sleep? Speaking of sleeping patches, it's time for me to go find my own. Good night, Lucky. I guess I better get inside the house. Uh-oh, someone's fallen in front of the ladder. Maybe something has, not someone. Maybe Lucky can help. I'm just gonna... Keep moving my lips like some sort of awkward VTuber until you click to the next slide of dialogue. It looks like I'm talking, but there's far too much mouth movement for how much talking I've already done. This is just how we live now. Sorry, Lucky, I know you're tired, but I need your help. It'll be quick, I promise. Okay. Hold down. Boop. Da da da. Look at me go. Clear the debris. <laughs> Told you it'd be quick. You know you have two hands. I think you could have done that just as quickly. But I love you. Good night, Lucky, for real this time. Yippee! Oh my god, space bar instead of a jump is that? <laughs> Favourite button in a game ever. Write in diary? Oh, it's save? I thought I was going to actually get to write in my diary for a second. <laughs> That would have been cute, right? A little feature of like writing a little log in the diary and a log you could look through after finishing the game. Dear diary. They're in a slope. Morning, Lucky. Breakfast. Well, oh. 
see Owen, sometimes you just gotta follow the tracks and see where they take you. Oh, my gums and tongues, Mary, are you seeing this? I see it, but I swear my blinkers are messing with me. Is that a real Parasaurolophilus Lusluscus? <clears throat> Her name's Lucky. <laughs> what a beauty she is. See, I told you it was worth the rush. When I first spotted the tracks, I was so tempted to race after them, but... No, I said to myself, Mary, you can't chase these without Owen, even if it takes him an hour to gather for all his things. Ha, <laughs> it wasn't an hour. No, you're right, more like two. Preparedness is important. Anyway, it's a pleasure to meet you and your Parasaurolophilus. You know, we haven't seen one since... Actually, we've never seen one. Never? Uh-oh, I hope you didn't come to Paleopines looking for herds of paras galloping through the hills. Now, now, hold on, they're definitely around, right? At least we think they are. Uh, Mary, you've seen tracks. Well, sure, but that's all I've ever seen. They show up from time to time. They must be around here somewhere. Imagine, a real para, living right here in Viridian Valley. Wait, you are planning on moving in, aren't you? A thousand times, yes. <laughs> Yeehaw, new neighbours. <laughs> Yeehaw, for Brian made them British. Yeehaw! Oh, and you bring anything with you that could stand in for an impromptu housewarming gift? Oh, well, I only had time to pack for what I thought was spur-of-the-moment field study. Uh, like three of everything and enough clothes... Oh, wait, that's you. Like three of everything and enough clothes for a month? <laughs> I happen to have just the thing. Really? Oh, and one of your journals? Yes, just so happens I brought two blank ones in case we discovered something remarkable. And we did. Trust me, if you're starting a ranch, there's a lot you need to remember. Write it all down. You'll never forget. Actually, that makes sense. Here, I've got something for you too. A pocket full of herbivore food? Yeah, it's all I brought. Besides, that's a hungry looking para, and you can't exactly eat a journal. And you'd be surprised. That's some of the best herbivore food that shells can buy. Courtesy of Corlins, Randoms, and Abundance. If you're looking for more of that, Pebble Plaza should be your next destination. Make sure you meet Marlow. He'll get you anything you need to fix up this pen and the rest of your ranch. Owen, rude. What? Look at it. It's a mess. We better go. Sorry about Owen. <laughs> what? Well, what did I say? Hope to see you around sometime. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. Trust me. That drone will be your new best friend. Uh, second best friend. Bye you now. Yeehaw, partner, goodbye. I'm a British cowgirl. Do you have posh cowboys? You know, like in regional accents, right? Do you have, like, I suppose you would. Really well spoken people with southern accents and then sort of more, like, sort of common. Have a look through your journal. He, one of them, they're posh cowboys. He speaks properly and such. Um. Okay, Lucky needs attention. <laughs> me and you both, Lucky, God. Give me some attention and hit the like button. It's like a pat on the head if I was a sad, needy para, thanks. Approach Lucky's food trough. There you go, it's very easy, the control scheme. Quest update. Settling in, visit Pebble Plaza and buy some herbivore food. Yes, darling, what is it? What you got? I feel like I sh we should go for a ride, eh? See this Plaza of the Pebbles. Explore in different weathers. You never know what you may find. Uh, Triceratopsies. Gallimimus. Do you like dinos? Are dinos your special interest? What's your favourite dinosaur? I think pterodactyls are cool. Tyrannananananodons. 
Oh, you're so cute. Oh. Who's the gnome? Well, don't just stand there gawping. Come over, say hello. Ah, you're the wee beaky who just moved into the old ranch. Welcome to Paleo Pines, or as we call it, Pee Pee. Finally, the place needs a good weeding. I thought that said wedding for a second. Uh, someone likes romance in the games. Uh, well, the Hortosaurus needs watermelons. My name's Agami, but everyone here calls me Granny. You must be looking for Pebble Plaza. Come on, let old Granny introduce you to the neighborhood. Oh, if you don't mind, leave your steed here. Too many whatnots and whiplets to have any Godino tails swinging about. Great galloping galleys. Is that a Parasopolopitus? I haven't seen one of them in the valley since I was knee-high to an oviraptor. What am I saying? I'm still knee-high to an oviraptor. I make up for it with charm and hair. Anyways, Steed's got to stay out, even if she is a peripropolis. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, Lucky. I won't be long. Don't wander off. Right this way. Welcome to Pebble Plaza. Ow, rude. If we don't got it, you don't need it. Actually, it's more like if we don't got it, you're out of luck. At least until the path to Dapple is open again. But that's a problem for another day. We've had enough, and that's enough. Pebble Plaza's a place for gathering and trade. You've got crop seeds, bits of wood and stone, someone here will trade for it. Plus you can trade anything for shells here, we use these sorts of a common currency. Go on, here's a few from me. Don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> here, let me give you a quick tour. That's my store. I got seeds to grow. Anything from pumpkins to pineapples and other things beginning with P. Usually, anyways. These days it's more like potatoes to potatoes. Slim pickings. Did I mention the path to Dapplewood's blocked? Top of the hill you find Pippin. Not today, though. It's baking day. Pippin makes poppins. Pippin's real sweet. And poppins are, well, I'll let you decide for yourself. Is everything P worded here, or is this coincidence? Tell you what, come back tomorrow and meet them. See that lad behind me? That's Colin. If you're after anything, Colin's the best place to start. Flowers to fibrous fib diggers. He's not much of a chatterbox, but he's swell stocked and cheerful enough. Over to my right is Marlow. <coughs> Morph just moved into the old ranch in the valley. I've heard. Lovely spot. Pleasure to meet you. Arlo's our woodsman. Takes care of the trees around here. Not only that, give the man a stick or a log and he can build anything with it. Pride of the pines, we call him. Nobody calls me that. Well, I'll, I'll admit, I'm pretty good with my hands. If there's only something you need... If there's something you need, I'll do what I can. But there's only so much I can do without my proper workshop tools. Speaking of which, any word on the path to Dapplewood, Granny? Haven't checked, but I reckon we'd hear if anything changed. Anyway... Lo um, <clears throat> anyway, what happened to your voice, Marlo? Don't worry about it. Anyway, lovely to me. <laughs> Since you're fixing up that old ranch, I reckon these could come in handy. Happy housewarming to you. From strong roots come ripe fruits. Well, Marlo, just when I think you couldn't be any nicer, you're gonna outdo yourself. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day. I told you it's a decent chap. This will come in handy. As soon as I've got time, I'll swing by a ranch and show you how to use them. But for now, I'd best be hopping along. Stop by my stall, I might have something for you. Would that make you anxious if someone was like, Oh, I'll stop by. You know, you just moved into somewhere. I'll stop by. It's like, you know, if you ever stay in an Airbnb and you're just, Can I get a host that's not there? When it's, like, on their land, and they're like, Oh, hi, how are you getting on? It's like, great, can you leave me alone? Is that just me? Is that just me being, like, a London-born and bred, like, city-like 
we don't talk to each other on the bus or the train or public transport or in the streets or anything. Maybe if you come from a place where people say hello to each other and are actually friendly, you'd be like, hi, come in and welcome your neighbors in. Me, I'm like, uh, I need to put the bins out. Are my, na are my neighbors there? Let me wait, you know? Or like, if, I, if I'm putting the bins out and then they're there, it's like the, oh no, how do I socially interact here? And the sort of the nod and the like, All right? And then go back in. And then regret everything about that social interaction and be like, why am I the way that I am? Just me? I don't know. What's your experience? Let me know in a comment. I'm waiting. Go ahead and do it. I want to hear it. <clears throat> oh, hi. Don't talk to me right now. I'm a bit sad. The party magician I booked cancelled on me. So that's why you shoulder barged me, huh? Well, you know, you shouldn't take out your bad feelings on good people. Listening to Therapy Diner's Time. I've been thinking about you, like, a lot. Okay. <sighs> More fright. I'm calling. Pleasure to meet you. How about it? Buy, sell? What's your fancy? Chat. I'm about to go on a break. Guess I'll buy some herbivore food. I don't know how much I need. Let's get eight of those. Don't have a carnival yet. Don't need a saddle. Don't know if I need what flowers, pears, spring onions, wild bushes. And so it said I had met what five of six. me here. Let me give you something to welcome you to Viridian Valley. Just some carrot seeds. Can't wait for someone to reopen my way home, though. My garden must be in a terrible state. See anything that interests you? I guess I'll take some more carrot seeds. And some ah, wait. Those are pretty expensive. Did I just spend all of my money? I've only got 250 left. I'll come back. Toodaloo, buckaroo. See what my journal says. Buy herbivore food. I just did, didn't I? Did I not do it right? Ten herbivore food. Oh, I had to confirm it. Right. Sorry. Turn to the ranch. Before I do, let me celebrate being in this lovely, adorable place. <laughs> Wait, Morph. I haven't been by the old ranch in years, but from what I heard, it's... Well, a bit of a fixer-upper. I don't mean to boast, but fixer-uppering is kind of my specialty around here. Let me walk you home. See if there's any basic maintenance I can help you with. Sound good? Yippeeing again. I'm sorry, I've got you what? Pee no, yippeeing. Oh. <laughs> wow, this old place sure brings back memories. I feel a little guilty letting it get into such a state. If only you could have seen what it looked like back in the day. Then is for then, now is for now. Let's see how beautiful this place can be again. If you're gonna start somewhere, best to start small. Uh, let me take a closer look. In the meantime, you see if you can find some old fence posts. How many do you want? Yoink. Also, I love how, like, nothing's explained about the postcard or the invite to here. It's just, like, wh whose is this place? Why am I... Why is this mine? Why is it my responsibility now? <laughs> like, what? How did I get this all this land for nothing? Just an invite in the, in the post. Imagine. 
Here's a house and a load of land for you. Thanks. That should be enough. Step over here, see if you can take out one of the posts you found. Use inventory to equip a fence post. Press to enter placement mode. I like how I take out a little thing. Okay. Gorgeous. And now for the finishing touch. Every pen needs a gate. Equip the gate. Rotate. Move the fence posts. Place the gate. That, my friend, is a habitable pen, and a job well done. Would your lovely, would your lovely steed care to take it for a spin? If Lucky's happy, then we should be too. By the way, there's nothing that says this pen needs to stay here. Feel free to up sticks, drop it down anywhere on the property. Easier to move a pen than a boulder. After all, if we could move boulders, I'd be home by now. Well, best be off. Give me a shout if you need a hand. Bye, Morph. Bye, Lucky. Bye. Who's that? That's our new friend, girl. Come here. <laughs> the sort of like, I like you, but I'm not really comfortable with you head pat. Still got enough food. Now what do we have? Question mark. Find the Parasophilophilus. Maybe something will happen when I sleep. And what tools did I get? A bag, a hoe, oh, a shovel, watering can, but it's empty. And I don't want to. down trees or anything. Oh, I was trying to do the yippee, but space also does that when you have a tool out. Let's try sleeping. Mm, start a new day. As Lucky sleeps. Under the moon. What you got there, girl? What have you found? It looks like my old flute. I used to play this all the time for you, didn't I? Why not? Let's have a tootle, shall we? For old time's sake. Play the flute. <gasps> I actually play with buttons. One, one, one for attention. That's so cool. I love that. Yoo hoo! Oh, look, follow me. And then wait. Go back to what you're doing. What do you think, Lucky? Still got it? Eh, uh, yeah. Maybe I never had it. I'll keep practicing. That was really cool. I like that mechanic. Bark my branches. Did I hear that noise just now? Or am I going flappy? My flute. Oh, that was you. Well, keep practicing. You'll get there someday. Alrighty. I woke up itching like an itchy or plant some seeds. I also literally woke up itching. Mary's spare bed gives me the scritches. It'll have to do until I can get back home. Get your hoe out. Sorry. 
That handy wee hoe gets the soil ready for seeding. Go on, take a swing. Swing that hoe. Grab that hoe. Swing. Time to plant the goods. I bought a few seeds. Go on. Okay, but I want it to be a bit more. There we go. Seed. I'm guessing it's the seed bag. Carrot seeds in the soil. I can smell those carrots. Maybe I should stand back. Whoa, you're not done yet. Get that watering can out. Very nice. You can't water without water. There's a pond over there. Boo. Refill your watering can at the pond. Loop. Alright, time to get muddy. I'll hold it down. Water some seeds. You do have to hold it, otherwise it stops. Well, look at you, practically a farmer. Couple of tips. Number one, don't forget the seeds. Number two, water your crops every day. Finally, you might be surprised to discover what dinosaurs can do. I've lived here longer than anybody. I've seen helposaurus of all shapes and sizes. Lucky's got a helpful skill. Look at those beautiful claws. I bet you're a digger, ain't ya? a girl. Tell you what, as soon as these carrots have sprouted, come tell me. Well, you picked that up. I'm off to Pebble Plaza. Thanks. Make notes by equipping your journal and holding. Well, that's cute. I recorded it in my journal. How sweet. Gonna grow these carrots on my farm. Grow these carrots outside a barn. Keeping dinos to help me. And we'll have another patch. Over by the pond, eh? I know it's not so much. That's fine. We be doing some farming now. How do I clear the debris? I'm gonna be carrot rich. I'm gonna be a carrot baron. Just you wait. Changes colour. Takes one water every time from up in the top left. Uses one stamina also. Missed out on these ones. Okay. What's next? Settling in. Investigate the path, grow 10 carrots, take the carrots to Granny. Lucky needs attention. <sighs> Help is on the way! How about that for some attention? You gonna eat? And some food? Or just some love? Lucky is happy. Good. Should we go for a ride? Let's see what it's saying about a path here. Man, we got a lot of boulders around here. Lucky leveled up. What's this all blocked? Another area. Pretty zippy when you want to be. Okay, 
Let's see. Hey, Owen. Oh, greetings, Morph. I was just taking Bongo on his daily constitutional. Mary was asking about you this morning. She sounded excited. No doubt another crazy idea. We're very close to each other right now, Owen. This is... You're in my bubble. I was standing here. You're in my bubble, son. You should talk to her if you can find her. Absolutely speedy Gonzalez here. See how big this place is. Lake of Tranquility left to Picnic Hill. I like a picnic. The teddy bear's picnic. If you go down to the woods today, you'll probably find a dinosaur. I like dinosaurs. I've never really got into like the history of them though, but I feel like if I did, I'd be down that rabbit hole. They're kind of fascinating. It's this tree house. There's no one up there though. Store with no one at it. This must be the picnic area. Can we use this? Come on, Lucky. Can you jump? What do you do with space? Nothing. Nope, got to stick to the paths. Stick to the lakes and the rivers that you're used to, you know? So these big open areas... Don't lead anywhere. Probably have different dinos in later, I would think. <gasps> Wait, your stamina's going down. Let me stop riding you so hard. Come on. Galamimus. Right there, quick. What's this way? This is the blocked path, gotcha. Looks like the path ahead's blocked. Must be the boulder that Granny and Marlow were talking about. I don't think we can get past that boulder right now. <gasps> there she is. Psst, over here. These Galamimas are sk super skittish. I've been trying to study them, but they keep sneaking off. Listen, glad I spotted you. I was talking to Granny earlier. She told me you had a flu. Time to test a theory. I knew you were a keener for the first moment I saw you. Come on down near next to me. Pull out that flute. Mary. Equip flute. Hear those Galamimas calling to each other? Kind of musical, right? I want to see what happens if you play a few notes. I think I match it. Look, one's listening to you. Wait until Avery hears about this. He'll go bananas. Now, I'm sure you've noticed this, but each species of dino has its own call. Listen to this Galamimus for a moment. There. <laughs> Try to mimic that call with your flute. That's literally just someone in the vocal studio going, Arr, 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 arr. Sorry, can you do it again? I wasn't listening. I was making arr, a joke. Arr, arr, arr. Arr, 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 arr. It's basically one, two, three, four. It worked. It actually worked. I've been following this herd all season, and this is the first breakthrough I've had. I can't wait to document this. You and I are going to be very good friends. Let's admit, that was amazing, but let me show you how to take it to the next level. Let's see how we can gain its trust. Wild Dinosaur Lesson 2. Every species has favourite food. Take this spring onion. Nice and easy. Hold it out and see what happens. Have a bit of onion. What would your favourite food be if you were a character in a game? What would someone need to feed you to get on your good side? Mine would be pancakes. Ah, oh, drat. Right, right. Galamimus hate spring onion. I should write some of this down. Let's see what else I've got. Carrots. 
Good job, Mary, ruining my chances. That's the one. Looks like you've got half a chance to make a friend now. <laughs> Let's go again. Give it another carrot. <laughs> Select feed and offer a carrot to Gelamimus. Everyone felt that. <laughs> Have a chance to make a friend? Munch. Oh, sorry. I got too excited. My ass, I've got to keep it in the green. Tried to calm it down. So we're basically, it's a game of keeping it in the green. With a little sh -sh 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 -sh. Beautiful. Now I'm about to let you in on a trade secret. Have you had one of Pippin's Poppins yet? They're traditional fare from Pippin's homeland. Delightful little cakes, but honestly they're a bit crunchy. But that's just me. One thing I do know is some of the dinosaurs go wild for them. Here, do the honours. A friend. Offer it a Poppin. So this is how we seal the deal. With a cupcake. I feel like that would absolutely go down like a sort of cartoon character and that little neck just like bulge, just like bulging. What is this dino's name? Goose. That was amazing. Here's me with years of researching dinos and you make a friend on the first try. I was hoping to get close to them, but I'll wager this one's ready to follow you home. That flute. Think it'll work on others. So many possibilities. Like the Corythothorath. Those guys are fast. They'd make incredible speeds. Or dare I say a Stikaskoskoros. I've seen these charge straight through a boulder. <gasps> They're notoriously hard to befriend. You'd better find this Galamimus a dreamstone. Every dino needs one. Zippity. This is all so exciting. Wait until Owen hears about it. Alright, come on Galamimu. Come on, Goose. Oh. Oh. Let's get you home. How will I find you a Dreamstone? A new friend for you, Lucky. Let's see if it says anything about Dreamstone. Find a large Dreamstone. Just like in the wild. How will I find you one? Do they sell them in the town maybe? Let's have a quick look. Mm -hmm. What you got? Dreamstone. No Marlow today. What you got? Oh, Dreamstone. Must be in the wild then. What's this? Notice board. Wood. Lost hat. Marlow's potato soup. Two lost hats. Marlow losing his hats all over the shop. saddle to ride here. Well, let's see if we spy a stone. What's this? Is that one? Isn't this dream stuff? Hello, little friend. Take my flute out. I'm trying not to move as not to scare you. Hang on, where's my flute? No? What are you saying? They're like, nah, mate. That's not what I said. Do it again. Do your little song again. I did what you did. I'm 
doing what you do. You do red, red, purple, purple, red. Does it need to be longer? Like Morse code? Okay, here we go. Buddy, I did what you did. Do it again. Blue, yellow, purple. Blue, yellow, purple. Where's my last one? Doesn't look purple for some reason. What are you, what are you saying no for? I'm literally doing it. Blue, purple, yellow. Crazy, what are you doing? It's like da na na no I'm like okay, so see you later is purple. Do bad. I can't just play the flute all day. The Galamimus was like, I'm out of here. I thought this guy could play the flute and he can't. Is that one? Dreamstone. Let's get this home. Viridian Valley. Alright. This is your new home, Goose. I'm gonna mark you in my pad. Galamimu discovered. So I guess I put a dreamstone for you somewhere. Maybe you guys can share. You could be best friends. boop right there. Maybe I should get you to follow me. This is your home, I say. Goose has a new home. 
Cool. You hungry? Have a munch. Guessing you're a Herbie. And this is your sleeping patch, right? Looks like I can upgrade them. Can I click that? It's a bit hard to click stuff sometimes. Come here. It's a large valley sleeping patch. I guess I can't upgrade it once I've done that. Dun, 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 dun. Grow 10 carrots and clear the boulder. So I've got to obviously grow carrots and then probably make friends with the... Um, thing that they said can smash boulders. And then it'll like open up a new region. It's me, Owen. I've come to see you. Oh, you still haven't cleaned up the place, have you? Sorry, what was that, Owen? I'm still running towards you. I can't quite hear you. Well, you said good morning. I hope you're doing well. Good morning. Sorry to show up unannounced. I was hoping to update my data on Parry Ploppy Poppadus. As you can imagine, it's really sketchy. Oh, is it a Parasophili? I don't even know the pluralization. I've never met one. Never mind two. How does this pencil stay behind my ear? It's bigger than my ear, that's for sure. It's like one of those novelty giant pencils. Furthermore, how do my glasses stay on my face? If anything should be over my ears, it'd be the handles of my glasses. But I don't got none. They just stick on the end of my nose. <sighs> anyway, I noticed you've acquired a new friend, the Galamimu. You've barely been here a week. It took me months to get Bongo to follow me home. I'm a little bit jealous. I don't mean to brag, but I'm kind of an expert around here on the Mimus. In fact, I've got volumes of information on each dinosaur. Some observed, more theoretical or extrapolated, but all useful. What dreamstones do you it like? I know it's Lucky's pen as a dreamstone. Dreamstones are the most crucial element to a dinosaur's comfort. Science can't explain why they love them so much, but they most certainly do. If you haven't got one, wake up one morning and find they've run off to one themselves. Speaking of which, keep your eyes open. Dreamstones are rare in the wild. If you're bringing home new friends, you need them. Pen? When caring for a dinosaur, their pen represents a space they can call their own. They like their pen to be a decent size, comparative to themselves, and to be fully enclosed. Well, not fully enclosed, with a gate, of course. When the gate's always open, they can come and go as they please. A good pen needs a place to eat, a place to sleep, and to be kept tidy. Uh, you know what I mean about tidy soon enough. You trust me, you'll want a shovel. Ah, okay, so... Oh, I've got a favour to ask. Anything you learn, please log it in your journal. It's a vessel to house new discoveries, learn preferences, traits, flavours and more. Use it often, and you never forget. I want to compare notes now and then. The life of a scientist is never dull. Let me see you've made some notes about Galamimus. Diligent. Let's take a closer look at Goose. I probably can't have them share a pen then, I need to make them their own. <gasps> you eat herbies and meaties. See how you're feeling. Happy friend. Prefers a valley biome. Good. The art is how much Goose trusts you. The happier a dino is, the more they trust you each day. Excuse me, I've got a big day planned. Destination, my library. Sounds like a perfect day. Right, sorry about that. I'll make you your own pen then. I didn't know you didn't like to share. I'll check back tomorrow with the journal. But how will I collect more wood. I did see another fence post I could collect, right? Somewhere. Where was that? To make you a new spot. I thought I saw one. Did I imagine it? If I take out my planner, can I just build for you. I don't have any, any more anything. You kind of have to share for now. Fourteen crops need watering. Oh my god, I've been forgetting about that. Better fill my water up. Thank you. 
Look at you all curious and loving what I'm doing. <laughs> That's cute, you're doing a little dance. You look like an ostrich doing that dance. Wet feet. We'll turn this into a nice home for all my dinosaurs. That's them watered. What have you got here? Just some debris you're looking at. I guess I need to get some more of these fence posts from somewhere and get you in. Thank you for watching. Let me know in a comment what you think of Paleo Pines or click one of those videos on the screen right now to go on another adventure with me on some of my favorite video games. Until next time, thanks for watching. Good night.